Welcome back, guys. We are going to work on Vancouver today to change this up a bit. And we're actually going to... I think what I'm simply going to do is I'm going to tear all this out and, and redo it all. Uh, up here in Cleveland, we want tools as well. And there's a demand for tools in Colombia. So those are things that we could hook up as well. So what we're going to do is bulldoze all this. Uh, well, I guess we should sell the trains first. Uh, let's uh, sell these trains. And we will find Uh, cargo rail production tools to Vancouver we will delete that line and we're going to simply delete all this because I want to change it up quite a bit uh, and we're going to delete this all the stations everything and it'll be fine uh, and the reason I want to change it up quite a bit is of course we want longer trains, which we can't get with the length of the stations that we have now. And we want to get something going up here, which is maybe not going to be the easiest because of these two farms, but we can do a tunnel through this, which is fine. Now, uh, what we're also going to do is tell this line uh, manage vehicle sell all of them I don't know why I decided to move over there we're going to bulldoze that we're going to bulldoze that and then we are cargo truck production uh, planks Vancouver let's delete that line and up here I am not sure if this is going to stay or not we have 35 pools sitting here we might as well deliver those at least so let's just deliver those and then we can bulldoze this. Um, so let's. Come on. How much do you have sitting here? Okay, not that much. Good. Right, so while that gets done, hopefully these won't disappear straight away. Uh, so. Um, I'm actually going to pause just for a second because I want to do this and I want to do this and I want a cargo station. Do we need a through thingy here? We might later, but not right now. Not right now. Uh, so what we're going to, oh. so what we're going to do is do this and put this in here. Then we want a station down here to pick up uh, logs. This certainly just needs one track. We'll put that in something like this, I think. Yeah, that seems okay. Like that. We're not going to be using this forest anymore. Nope. Uh, then we want something in here and I think 
This is going to be a terminus, that's for sure. Cargo for now. And you know what? Let's just put in a road across there. Uh, let's let it run so we get that cleared. And let's get this uh, terminus in here. Is this the direction I want it? Not at all. Uh, I want it to come out something like this. Yeah, that'll be fine. And then we want a cargo station here. Going down this way. You know what? Why didn't I make them 320? I should have made them 320, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have. Uh, Bulldoze you. 320. Terminus. Cargo. Turn around. And... Come in. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Uh, this is gone now, so let's pause for a second while we get stuff in. Because we're going to need... This needs two platforms. Actually, no, it just needs one. Uh, we're going to have to bulldoze this I think something like this is actually okay maybe turn a little bit something like that will definitely be okay okay and this road can actually just go away I think for now at least alrighty uh, you need to be 320 so destroy you uh, two tracks and put you in right around uh, I actually think as far back as possible because we're going to need a bridge. And then you, you can be demolished. Just one. And we'll put you in there. Okay. So. Let's get some tracks going and we can let this play again and we know what the the problem is you might say um, how soon do you turn into a bridge immediately that's not gonna work for me because we need to be able to come out. Uh, well, do that. Okay. Why well, won't it go up and down? Oh, because I'm clicking the wrong button. That makes sense. That makes sense. Still won't do it though. Not at all. All right. Uh, and you can see I'm. I wanted to go very high there. Very very high. Uh, all right. Well, you need to turn into a bridge. 
You know what? Let's put the bridge in first. I think it needs to be up this high or something. But I kind of want the bridge to curve, don't I? So we can't really put in the bridge first. Hmm. Because we want it to curve somewhat. But it won't do that. It just won't. Okay. Alright, let's get you going up then. I think more. Something like that at least. Okay. And then do we get yeah, we do get ship allowance. What if we just go straight? Do we get ship allowance? We do. Wonderful. All right. Then try and come in here and see how this looks. This actually doesn't look too bad. This actually doesn't look too bad. I wouldn't mind if this was embankment to around here. So why don't we well, bring you out to around here and then come down as much as we can. It won't become embankments. Um, right here it becomes embankment right there. That's okay. This is fine. Okay. Oh, let's let time pass a bit. Alrighty. Then we'll get you coming out here and coming over there. Then let's just put this down to ground level. Um, how does this look? It actually looks kind of okay. Except it needs to be on the other side. It needs to be here, coming over here. Um, there is a lot of cutting into the terrain, isn't there? So. Let's try and avoid that as much as possible. Uh, suppose that's okay. And then come in there and that looks decent. Okay. And then we want something running, running alongside here. Alrighty, and then we'll come up this way. And Eesh. let's just do something like this. And we'll come through here with a little tunnel. Oh, and a little bridge. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. All right. 
I like it. I like it. I want to see you. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. This looks pretty cool. I like it. Okay. And I'm digging in. Let's see what it looks like if we do something like this. Oh, that looks horrendous. <laughs> that looks horrendous. Uh, and it's this one that needs to come in to there. And this one just bypasses. And then you come straight out and into there. And you come down here and we'll get this in okay so we have all that set up uh, now delivery of tools to Vancouver is this still covering everything yeah it is it is all right so we'll put a single 30 meter thing in here and it can be right there and then I wonder can we get this road to go up and connect there yeah we can let's do that Okay. So you're connected to that. You're connected to that. You're connected to that. And you're connected to that. And you're connected to the street here. But I think we need... We are covering most of it. But a little bit isn't covered. So let's just... Let's put that in there and we'll put this in here, I think. Right behind these buildings. And we'll set up a new line from there to there which will be cargo, truck, delivery, tools, uh, Cleveland. All right. And the Vancouver line, the managed line. Uh, yeah, you're not going from Vancouver Halt. Uh, you are going there to there and upper Vancouver you will wait for a full load forever okay and while we're at it let's manage these vehicles and replace them with Ooh. Emo F15 Holland trucks. I don't think we're going to need that many, but I like that they can go faster. All right, and then we need a new line going from here to here uh, to there. to Cleveland, back to Upper Cleveland, uh, 
All right, so we need... So you're coming in there. You need to be able to cross over. That's fine. Or we put a platform on the other side. I think we just put a platform on the other side. Uh, because after Upper Cleveland, you go to Vancouver Halt. And then you go back to... No, you don't go to Vancouver Halt, actually. Uh, because you're bringing down planks. So you go to Vancouver. And then you go to Vancouver South. And you start over. All right. So let's configure this. And... Oh, I made this a... Uh... Got it. need to delete all of this in little itty bitty bits and pieces so that's a lesson that I should have learned earlier but I didn't but don't just put tracks on the other side use the actual station to do it because otherwise it's really annoying to delete when you actually want to put the real tracks in there okay uh, configure you uh, we need tracks first don't we with catenaries that itty bitty piece there all right and then platforms and okay. get some cargo platforms on here and that'll be that tracks come on in and go on out okay signals uh, one way yes Let's just start down here. We'll put, I think we'll put a signal in here on the bridge. And I know what the problem is, so it's fine. And then let's put one in here. Uh, Let's put one in. Auto save. Go away. Come on. Go away. There. We'll put a signal in over here. One up here. One right before entering the tunnel, I think. And one right after the tunnel. I feel like that makes sense. And then just keep them going. And up here. And then like that. And that's fine. Now, line one, manage line. So down here in Vancouver Halt uh, we want you to be on there now why can't you get so in Vancouver coming up we want you on terminal 2 and that took it all away so what we really need to do is put in the ability to cross somewhere if we want to use multiple uh, platforms but we don't need to do that right now this is all working right now so cargo rail delivery tools van uh Lee. okay oh and a uh Depot would probably be good if we want to put 
trains on there. Which I kind of feel like we do since we spent all this time building it. So let's put a depot in... Hmm, something like there. And you can just come up like that. Don't really need uh, any signals for that. And that's everything. And then eventually we can get Columbia hooked up as well if we want. Which might not be the worst. So let's buy vehicles. We do have these bad boys now. But we really don't need them and the running costs are ridiculous. So I think we'll go with... Actually, the Mikado is enough, because the cargo wagons can't do more than 80. So the Mikado could do it, but do we really need the Mikado? I don't think we do. I think we can do it with the Atlantic and save around 300,000 in maintenance a year. And then cargo, we want, well, we want two thirds flat cars and one third box cars. So if we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, 11, 12. 13, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's mediocre. It doesn't have enough power for a high incline, which I don't really like. So we'll take two off, though it doesn't really need to be able to do a high incline. I don't think, but I would like it to be able to. So there. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 5. Buy you, set you on cargo, rail, delivery, tools, Van Clee. Why can't you find a path to the stop? That's weird. Did this not do it right it did so double slip car rail delivery tools when clean there okay so that's one train on there that's that time passed a little bit okay and here comes our train It should be an okay moneymaker. Should be an okay moneymaker. I hope. I really, really do hope. And that is some cutting into the terrain there. Alright, let's see if everything is working. Do you have logs sitting here? Yes, you do. Do you have logs sitting here? Yes, you do. Uh, one thing we do need to do is buy some road vehicles for Cleveland. Now, we don't have a road depot that can actually access Cleveland right now. So we Cleveland gets its own. Uh, depot, road depot. Let's just put it out here. And five vehicles, cargo, the 
AMO tarpaulins. Uh, we'll get three of them and put you on cargo truck delivery tools Cleveland. And what is the rate on this line right now? Because 188, that's way too much. Managed vehicles, we're going to sell five of these. All right. The Dornier Mercure has arrived, okay. Now what's your rate right now? 128. Let's clone you. Um, and up here... Uh, this line in Lower Cleveland, you can wait for a full load like that. Okay, so sister train coming in. Now, Vancouver has a demand of 115 tools, which hopefully will go up. Cleveland has a demand of 63 tools, which will go up to around 100 as well. So that's 200. Okay, good, good, good. And we have our first plank sitting here. Now, all right, manage line. So going to Vancouver South from Vancouver, you are not allowed to load anything. Uh, from Vancouver South, in Van... Well, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Come on, click the train. Uh, managed line. So in Vancouver South, which is here, we can load planks. Let's just wait until you have loaded. There. Then in Vancouver... You can load planks, unload logs. In Vancouver Halt, you can load tools and unload planks. In Cleveland, you can not load anything, but you can unload tools. In Upper Cleveland, you can load logs and not unload anything. And that's the way it has to be. Okay. So you got the first batch of planks here, right? Yeah. Which will be the first batch of tools from this. And what about you? You have 111 logs, okay. That's fine. All right, we have a few tools here. You have tools. Good, good, good. You unloaded a bunch of logs. So we're making more planks. Um, you have logs sitting here. Wonderful. You have consumers, but it's not that great yet, but it'll go up. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Outstanding. Outstanding.
so how are we looking over here i'm very curious as to the ships coming out of here do they only get a half load they only get a half load that is so annoying they have to wait for a full load they absolutely have to wait for a full load There's just no way around it. What's the rate on this right now? 263. Uh, and manage line in Murfreesboro port. You're gonna have to get a full load. So you should get a full load now because there is tons and tons and tons of planks sitting here. What are you doing? That was weird. Right. Yeah, you got a full load. How are we looking? Well, we lost money there, of course. Then we lost money there because of the new trains, I think. At least partially. I mean, we don't have any warnings, so the trains should be doing fine. The ships are doing okay. But we don't make money every year on the railroad, but that's okay. For well, now, it's okay anyway. All right, you just got a delivery of planks or uh, bricks, sorry. And up here we have plenty of logs sitting. Uh, yeah, you can do tools as well. Uh, so that's these guys that will be coming in with tools if they have any. They don't there. They don't there. They don't there. They don't there. Is that because I have told them not to pick up tools in uh, San Antonio port? No, you can pick up tools. Can you unload tools in Santa Ana? No. Uh, it is Santa Ana port that we want, right? No, it's Tallahassee port. Tallahassee port, you can unload tools. Okay. So that's fine. Oh, Vancouver. Wants a few new things. I think they already wanted that, to be honest. I think we might need a third train on here. Or upgrade to the Mikado and extend these trains. That could also be an option. That could also be an option. Uh, you are not getting a full load here. That's a little annoying. That's almost. It's almost. We have tools waiting here to go up to Cleveland. Vancouver is getting tools. You're about ready to increase your production when you, 
we start getting full loads of logs. I don't know why you didn't get a full load of logs there, or a full load of planks. Well, uh, it's probably about right. You are getting ready to upgrade. Okay. I think this is going to be fine. I think this is going to be fine. Yeah, I really do. I really think this is going to be fine. Good, good, good. All right, so we're getting close to upgrading here in the sawmill. Uh, just stop, but once you arrive with these logs, you'll start producing again. We need a little bit higher rate on this to, to upgrade. It's not that much, but it's some. But the question is, do we have enough demand? Not right now, do we? Not right now. Delivered. And then you'll pick up down here where there are is a full load. Good. So that's kind of nice. All right, we'll um, we'll check in on these trains in the next one because we are out of time. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.